Hey there my handsome and pretty little cobras and welcome back to the Cobra's Nest. For those of you who are new, my name is Minion Cobra and I make minimalist videos. So today's video is going to be another minimalism professionals, why I never owned a capsule wardrobe. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's get it, let's go. Woo. Three reasons why I never had a capsule wardrobe. Um, I remember that they were like super trendy for a period of time and then I remember it was really super trendy to bash having a capsule wardrobe. So I'm going to talk about why like I just never got into the trend. Okay, so number one, I already had a uniform of sorts. <laughs> so if you guys have seen my videos through all of 2017, I literally wore the same pink shirt in like all of my videos because I had seven of those and I just wore those over and over again because I believed that if I wore the same clothes, I wouldn't waste time thinking about it and I could be more productive doing other stuff. Yeah. Did it work? I don't know. Maybe it did. I started my YouTube channel eventually. So yeah, maybe it did. But it was really boring and really shitty. So I could only imagine what a capsule wardrobe must have been like. like. Don't get me wrong. I had watched videos on capsule wardrobes, but it just never really was something where I was like, yeah. Because I had already done the uniform thing. So by the time that trend started, I was kind of like, no. Okay, the second reason why I didn't ever have a capsule wardrobe I never liked the idea of being radical or restrictive Hence why I've been the black sheep of the minimalism crew I've always advocated you do you, use it as a tool Minimalism is just to help better your life Less of what you want and more of what you do So I just never saw the appeal in creating a capsule wardrobe I know I've seen a lot of videos, I know it's good, capsule wardrobe is to be your best stuff and blah blah blah, da da da. But I just felt like you should just do you, like it doesn't matter, you know? Which will actually bring me into my third point why I never had a capsule wardrobe was this idea that you had to wear your best. I never liked that because one, in my wardrobe, even though it's extremely minimalistic, I have seasonal clothes that I wear on season and off season. I own duplicates, hence my uniform, which I don't do anymore, hence my clothes change from video to video now. Um, I have ratty clothes, I have comfy clothes, I have not comfy clothes. I just don't really see the point where it's like you just have like these solid pieces that you're just supposed to like rotate through and you're supposed to make as universal as possible and you're supposed to only have like seasonal clothing that works all year round and you know this and that and blah blah blah. I remember my very first minimalist video, Minimalism Can Make You Happy. I had talked about um, having clothes, about it being two things, it being beautiful and it being functional. And then later on I said, if it's not functional, then you ought to reevaluate why you don't think it's beautiful. For example, your work clothes you don't think are beautiful, maybe it's because you hate your job. But I kind of take it back, I think that was very like privileged of me to have said something like that. We all need to work, we all need to make an income, you know, and sometimes our lives are less than glamorous, like we can't all have like glamorous jobs, like that's just the reality of it. Of course we can have a different attitude about how we feel it, about how we feel about things, and we don't need to think our clothes are beautiful all the time. Sometimes we just have those ratty clothes, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that, so hence why I just never bought into the whole capsule wardrobe idea. It just seemed not something I wanted to be a part of, I just wanted my clothes to be functional, and I didn't, because I actually also tried, uh, not a capsule wardrobe, but I tried only wearing my best. But trust me, who the hell wants to wear their best all the time? That no longer becomes your best. It becomes worn out, becomes shitty, blah, 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 da, da, da. And I know, you say, well, that's the whole beauty of it. Then you go out and you buy something else when that wears out. Sometimes I don't want to wear my best to everything. Sometimes I don't want to look and dress my best to situations where I just think that's just, it's too dressy. You know what I mean? Like, there's different situations. Like, I don't look the way I do for YouTube for these videos that I've been making recently the way I do in real life. Because if you watch my vlogs, you'll see that I wear literally a t-shirt and jean shorts and no makeup. Yeah. So these are the reasons why I just never did a capsule wardrobe. It's funny enough, I might try doing it just because I like to be, you know, what's that word? I know in Spanish, the word is like, necia and... Mandarin is TLP, but I don't know what's the English equivalent. It's like, you know when something is like, well, I've never done it, but shit, I want to try it just for fuck's sake. Yeah, that's kind of how I'm feeling. So you know what? I might film a minimalist tries a capsule wardrobe and see how I like it. So thank you for having me watch this video. If you want me to film me trying out a capsule wardrobe, leave it down in the comment section below and I will try it. And thank you so much for having me taking the time to watch. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.